Hey guys and finally AMD has unveiled their Zen 3 based Ryzen 5000 mobile CPUs so in this video I'll briefly talk about all that is released and since this channel is still very much targeted towards people on a budget I have some important advice for you at the end so stick around. So without any further ado let's get right into it. So like usual we have the 15 watts U series for ultrabooks and 35 watt and above H series for proper gaming slash work laptops. I'll go quickly through the U series as in this channel we are mainly interested in the high performance H series but believe it or not the U series actually sees the biggest improvements as unlike in 4000 U series where only 4800U and 4300U were SMT enabled here in the 5000 series each of the U series parts are now SMT enabled. Now the confusing part is that Ryzen 5300U, 5500U and 5700U are still Zen 2 based and so they don't see much improvements in single go performance but they will definitely show big gains in multi thread performance compared to their Zen 2 predecessors. The Ryzen 5 5600U and 5800U are the only two U series chips that are actually Zen 3 based and that's why they show substantial increase in IPC performance as reflected by the single core Cinnamon scores which are quite amazingly on par with the Intel Core i9-10900K desktop CPU. Not only that but the 5600U and 5800U also come with huge 19MB and 20MB cache respectively and so I'm expecting the integrated Vega GPU to perform even better. Anyways, that's it for this U series, let's move on to our main interest that is the H series. Now unlike the U series, the H series parts are all based on the new Zen 3 architecture and as a result all of them gain the uplifts brought about by Zen 3, better IPC performance, some of the fastest single go performance and most importantly the single CCX layout with unified cache access allowing for massive gains in gaming performance when paired with high end GPUs. So not only do we see the expected updates to the previous generation 45 watt H series parts that is the 4600H, 4800H and 4900H and 35 watt HS series parts the 4600HS, 4800HS and 4900HS both with increased base and boost clocks and substantially increased cache but also a couple of super high end unlocked APUs enabled as the HX series which is a first for an AMD mobile chip. So these are the Ryzen 9 5900HX and 5980HX both 8 core 16 threaded parts with unlocked TDPs and some really high clock speeds. Think of it like AMD's answer to the Intel Core i9-HK series which are overclockable like the i9-9980HK and the 10980HK. I must say I'm not sure about the existence of the 5980HS which looks like a better binned version of the 5900HS with a 200MHz higher boost clock. Anyways, all in all it looks like AMD is finally here to absolutely dominate the laptop market and if supply issues are sorted out, we may see a major change in the laptop market with the most high-end flagship laptops now featuring an AMD APU. Times have changed really fast. Alright, now about my advice towards budget conscious buyers. I would say don't already discount the 4600H and the 4800H from last year, which are still more than capable enough in their own rights and are not much far behind when it comes to multi-threaded performance compared to Zen 3. The thing is Nvidia hasn't announced any update to the GTX 1650 slash 650Ti which will probably remain the budget choice for manufacturers and if you are planning to get a GTX 1650 slash 650Ti laptop and are thinking if buying a GTX 1650 laptop with a Ryzen 5000 processor will give you better gaming performance then my friend the answer is no. At least if you play in medium and above settings. Yes. Ryzen 5000 plus GTX 1650 will give you little to no performance gains in gaming compared to Ryzen 4000 plus GTX 1650 when playing at medium settings and above. As in this situation, the GPU is the main bottleneck and not the CPU. If you have seen my HP Pavilion gaming review with the Ryzen 5 4600H and the GTX 1650, you will know that the GTX 1650 GPU is already running at 99% utilization indicating it's running at its maximum potential aka a GPU bottleneck. I mean, that's the way it has been. It's the traditional knowledge. When GPU is already running at its maximum potential, you will not gain any higher performance when paired with a faster processor. So keep this in mind. And for those who were looking to purchase Ryzen 4000 laptops with RTX cards but were disappointed with the lack of availability of quality laptops, well, now you guys have plenty of choices and I would recommend you to definitely hold off your current purchase for now and wait for the Ryzen 5000 with RTX 3060 and above. You will gain all the Zen 3 goodness and really high end gaming performance. So yeah guys that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll try to cover the laptops which actually feature these CPU and GPU combination in next videos. 
uh, I'm quite busy now as I'm working in a company right now. So yeah, stay tuned for it. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.